What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over maps because we went over sets last time and I didn't have, I just didn't have that much time this this week in order to go over things. But now I do, so today we're just going to go over maps. So this is like the website for the maps. Um, basically maps are you use to, uh, since we're using regular maps now, so they're sorted. Um, they're sorted, you're basically mapping a key with a value. Okay, so if you have like a, if want to get a certain value in a key, we're going to map, if we have like two relations between two either objects or numbers, or variables or primitives or different types, any two relationship, right? And we want to just map one to another, you know, like, let's say I had like, I don't know, a bunch of car names and I want to map the car names with the license plate, right? Then I would just, you know, for every car name, I'm going to have map it with a unique license plate. So that's basically what maps are. Basically, um, maps store elements by a combination of a key and a value pair. So in a map, the keys are sorted uniquely. So if you, you, if you insert things into a map, it's sorted by the key. Okay. So like if I had like, I don't know, I'm adding like a car name like Toyota and then like I don't know with this license plate and then I had like Tesla right um, because uh, T Tesla TE is before Toyota TO the Tesla would go first because it's sorted by alphabetical order it's sorted by the key right that's what maps are while the map values store the content associated with the key the types of key and map may differ. So the, that's the saying like you could have different types. You could, you could have a string and you map with an object. You could have an object, map it with like an integer. You could have a, I don't know, you have a double or a float or something and you map it with another value. They may differ. They don't have to be the same type. Okay, so that's what they're saying. All right, internally they are sorted by its key in weak order criteria. So that's basically saying Increasing order, that's what they are. Map containers are generally slower than unordered map to access it by their key because they allow, uh, but they allow direct iteration on substance on their order. So map iterations, because it's sorted all the time, it's a little slower than the unordered map to get values because it's already sorted by the key. Um, a map values in a map can be accessed directly by the corresponding key using the bracket operator. So using the bracket operator. Okay. Um, and they are also implemented by using binary search trees. So in a map, uh, if you remember binary search trees, um, maps are generally implemented using binary search trees in order to get values. To get values and to you know, retrieve values or remove values, they're implemented as binary search trees. Okay, so here are some properties. Um, associative, they're referenced by their key and not by their absolute position. So if I want to get a certain value in a map, uh, it's referenced by the key. So it's not like I need to get like third position or like the fifth position, right? In an array or like in a, uh, in a link list or something like I have to get like fifth position from the head. Like that's not what a map is. Maps are referenced by their key and not by a position in the container. Okay. So they're ordered. So they're, they have to follow strict order all the time. So that means that if you insert the elements in this order, it's going to be sorted and it's strictly by this order, okay? Um, each element associates a key to a map value. Keys are meant to identify the values whose main content is the map value. So the keys are meant to identify the elements, okay? So if I wanna get some value, I have to get the key. Like when I insert a, 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 a new, a, some new, like a string or like a, like a license plate with a car name, right? Now using the license plate as a key, then I have to use a license plate to get the car name. I can't use the car name to get the, the license plate. Do you know what I mean? Your key is meant to identify the elements, not the value, okay? So you have to use the key to identify the elements whose content is the value, okay? You need keys. Um, no two elements can have the same key. So that what that means is like, I can't have like, the same key for two elements. So like, let's say I have like a license plate 
and I'm mapping it with a car name, right? Like I have a Toyota license plate, I'm mapping it with a car name. I can't have another of the same license plate going to two different car names. Hope you guys know what I mean. So like I can't have like, let's say I have like one, two, three, four, five, and I map that as a as the first Toyota car name, right? I can't have one, two, three, four, five again as a key to map it to another thing. It'll just replace it, right? So no two elements in a container can have the same key. Um, it's allocator aware, so it uses an allocator object to handle its storage needs. Okay. All right. So this is just saying, uh, okay, so this comparison is just saying that AI hey, need to return a uh, sorted by increasing order. If you want to change the comparator, you could pa probably pass it in. So I think this is less than operator, and then it would actually change the order for you. So you know, then it's incre uh, it's largest instead of smallest first, if you want to do that. Okay, so now let's actually go over every single method, and it's not that big of a deal. So let's go over the first constructor. Okay, so the first, there's four types, five types of constructors, if you can. All right, first one is just like a regular old constructor, so just empty with no elements. So if I want to do... Uh, map and let's say I want to do like string to integer, right? And I just call it my map. This is the first constructor, right? So we have the map, which is the the type that we want. We want to create a map. We have the brackets, less than a greater sign, and then here we have the the key, the key type, and then the value type. So we have the key type here on the first. This is the key type and the value type. So this is like like mapping a string to an integer, but I can map like, I don't know, if I have an integer to a string. See, you could do that, or you could do like, uh, you can map like a uh, boolean to a string. Like it doesn't matter. The first first value is gonna be your key. And I'm gonna do a string to integer because I think it's better. Uh, actually, maybe we should do integer to string. So car, car license plate to car name. Yeah, let's do car license plate to car. See? And then we'll let's just call this map car. Map car. I don't know. Yeah, so we're mapping a car license plate, which is like a bunch of, which is a number, and then we're mapping it to a car name. So that's what we're doing. So that's the first empty constructor. Okay. All right, now you could also do, you can initialize a container with as many values if you want. So the first one, this map is, has, just has nothing in it, right? It's just map car, it's just empty. Now let's say we want to do, we want to pass in a range, okay? So let's say I want to pass in a range. So what I could do is I could, if I want to create a constructor with a range, I could pass in the, the, um, the, first values and the last value in the range of a previous map. So this is like copying values from the previous map into our new map, okay? So if I wanna do that, I could do this. Um, first, let's actually create values for a map. So let's say if I wanna map a certain value to another one, we use the bracket operator. So we use brackets, right, here. And then let's say I wanted uh, map one, two, three. So this is a license plate, and I'm going to map it to, I don't know, Toyota. Toyota. Okay, so that, that, that's one license plate, right? And let's say I had like another license plate, two, three, four, or something, and I map it to like Tesla. And so on and so forth, right? You can map whatever value you want. So like this one, two, three, two, three, four. So like I said before, you cannot have a two, uh, two values with the same key. So I cannot do map two three four, car two three uh, one two three again. Like I cannot do that. I cannot do that. I cannot do this. This is not possible. You don't want to do this because what's going to happen? The map is just going to replace the old Toyota with the Tesla. So you cannot have the same key key types. Okay. So back to the constructor. We could have pass a copy constructor passing in a range. So this means that I could initialize my new map, like another map, by passing in the range of elements. So I could do like a map, a copy map, let's call it copy map. 
what I could do is I could actually pass in the range of the original value, so that from beginning to map cars end. And what this does is it's just going to copy all the values from the beginning to the end of our old map of map car into the new map of copy map. And that's what it will initialize our values for. So that's the range constructor. Okay, um, another thing you can use is a copy constructor, and that's just, um, you just copy the whole thing. So what that means is that if I don't want to pass in a range of the values of I want from beginning to end, I could just copy the whole thing. So if I don't want to do this, I could just pass in map car, and it would just copy all the values of my old map of map car into my new map of copy map. So that's what you could do. All right, uh, let's see. What is the third or fourth one? Okay, the move one, which is just like moving from one construct to another. Um, you could do this, but uh, yeah, I'm just not. I don't. I don't know. I don't know why anyone would use do this, but uh, yeah, you could do this. Um, basically, you would just pass in. I think it's the same thing. I actually think it's the same thing. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, it is the same thing. Um, yeah, um, moving with it. Crates that acquires elements of alloc is specified as different from x alloc. Okay, so if you have to pass, you have to show alloc. So what that is means is that um, you just have to do. Um, you just have to show make sure alloc is specified. So to do that, uh, let's see. I actually don't know how to do this. Hold up. Um, let's see. I haven't actually seen this before. Map alloc alloc uh, example. I want to see this example. I haven't actually seen this before. Moving with an allocator. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, initialize list, da, 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 move, um, do we just specify true? I, I don't know, I have to search this up. Allocator type. Argument is the typical class of the allocator, the argument to the constraints in the sense of that type. Yeah, there's a way to do it, but I don't see a reason why you want to move it. Okay, let's just skip this constructor because, like, I don't see, if you want to move something, might as well just, I don't know, there, there's a way to do it, but you have to specify alloc. And the fifth one is just initialize your list, and I think to do that, um, constructs a container with a copy of elements and uh, initialize this. So for that, you just need to do class comp. Okay, so uh, it's like this weird. Let's see, initialize list. I think it's I think it's the same thing. Initializer map C++. Okay, yeah. So here's what you do. You just have um if you want to initialize the map car differently, you would just uh, use brackets. So instead of doing one, two, three, and then Toyota, then two, three, four, Tesla, if I don't want to use the brackets here, and I just want to put them here in here, it's very easy. Um, we just put more brackets here. So we would do, uh, yeah, we would do this. Oh, we don't need an equal sign. We put more braces, one, two, three, and then Toyota, and then Two, three, four, and then Tesla, and I'll get our thing right there. And if we want to check this, we could just run this and see what it gives us. Ideally, it should give us uh, the same thing as what we had before, but this time we just pair it up, you know. So we're pairing up using an initializer list, so we don't have to, you know, do the thing. We don't have to explicitly type out the values. So yeah, you see one, two, three is Toyota, now mapped to Toyota, two, three, four maps to Tesla. So yeah, 
That's how you initialize it using a list. So yeah, um, so that's that. Uh, let's go to the next one. Okay, so we have a constructor destructors. The this thing is the inside implementation. It gets called when you do delete. You don't have to worry about that. Oh, the equals. Okay, so if you use equals, it just replaces the contents. So like if I have a, I don't know, second map. Let's just copy. Let's just copy the same thing. Okay, we're gonna copy this and put it in here and call this second map. And this time we have like, I don't know, two, three, four, Toyota, and then one, two, three, Tesla. Let's just switch these values, right? And if I do second map equals map car, it's gonna replace all the values of uh, map car and put into second map, okay? So like, second map is gonna become map car. And if you want, don't believe me, we look. We look inside here, and if we go next, uh, something went wrong. Okay, uh, I need to print something out. Let's print high. I don't know. Let's print high and then open this. Okay, okay, okay. Um, second map maps to map car, and then now what happens is now second map. See, before second map had two, three, four goes to Toyota. Now it's one, two, three goes to Toyota. And that's because we replaced all the values of second map with map car using the equal sign. So that's what we did. Okay, so that's the equal sign. Um, okay, we could iterate from begin to end, R begin, R end, C begin, C end, R C begin, C R end. Okay. So if you want to loop through from the beginning to end, you could use something called the iterator. And if I want to do that, it's pretty easy. Um, I'm going to use auto because, uh, actually, yeah, I'll, just, I'll, I'll use auto because I don't want it. I'm too lazy. So I'll do it. Here's what you do. You do map dot begin. And it is not equal to map, uh, map car. Let's, I'll get rid of the second map. Let's use map car now because we don't need the second one. Now equal to map car end it plus plus. All right, so this is basically creating looping through using dot begin dot end. Basically what we're doing is we're creating an iterator and we're starting from the beginning. And then while it's not equal to the end, we're just gonna keep increasing it. So that's what the begin and end does. So this is just looping from the beginning to the end. And what we could do is we could also just print out uh, map car dot first. Uh, star app car dot first. Oh, what? Um, let's see how to print out using iterator and simply map. I think you're gonna to need to use, yeah, you have to do it this way. It's really weird. Yeah, I have to specify this iterator. So yeah, uh, I can't use auto for some reason. So just do, uh, I can't use const. It has to just be iterator. Okay, here, and then this is just a integer, and then goes to pair to string. Okay, so yeah, this is what you do. You create an iterator, call it. It has to be the same type as your original map. And then um, you say equal to the beginning of your map, maps the maps name dot begin. And while it's not equal to the maps name dot end, we're gonna iterate a plus plus. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna print out the first value and the second one. So this is gonna print out this dot first, this arrow first is the, the key, and this it second is the value. So in this case, our key is the integer, which is a license plate number, and then the va the value of it second is the name of the car, like Toyota, car name. So if we print this out, it should give us one, two, three, Toyota, and the two, three, four, Tesla. See, one, two, three, Toyota, two, three, four, Tesla. So that's what it does. Um, yeah, so that's iterating from beginning to end. Um, I think there's there's more things we had to go over. 
went over constructors. Okay, so that's begin to end. Um, you could go the reverse way by R begin. So if you want to do that, you just do R begin R end. And you have to instead of this iterator it would be reverse iterator, I think. Yeah, and then it would just loop through backwards. So instead of one two three Toyota, it will be two three four Tesla, two three four Tesla, and then one two three Toyota, because it's looping backwards. Okay, and then um, C begin is just a constant iterator. It's about it's basically the same thing, and then C R begin is the same thing. Okay, it's if you don't want to change any of the values, then you loop use a constant iterator. Okay, empty just checks if it's empty. So if I want to check if this map is empty, I just do check my map car, which is like the map's name, empty. So if it's empty, I'll just print out empty. It's empty. Otherwise, it's not empty. Okay, so in this case, it should print out not empty. Because it's actually not empty, yeah. So, yeah, that's what the empty does. Okay, size just tells you the size. Um, you can just print it out. All right, user map name dot size, and then just prints out the size. So we could do like, the size of my map is, and it should tell you the size. And it should be the number of keys, I believe. It should be two. Yeah, so the size of my map is two, because it's the number of keys. See, one and two. Okay, so that size. Uh, max size is just like the maximum possible size you can have for your map. Um, typically, this is like something that the code like deep down underneath the code, what it would do. Um, yeah, it's just like eight million. That's the maximum maximum size of your map could do. Um, I think after you get that pass, you just like I don't know, just get bad. It's always an exception, I think. All right, uh, how do I access a map? You use your key. So if you want to use uh, use the bracket operator. So if I want to access um. Toyota here, I have to use print out my map car at 123. See, this would print out the 123, you use the license plate on 123, and it would get you Toyota. So this would, this, this is how you access it. You put a brackets here, and then you put the key, the specific key you want to access. So in this case, I want to access the key the, the I want to access the value of Toyota, so I pass in the key one two three. So this should give me Toyota. Yeah, Toyota. See, the first one's Toyota. Uh, I don't I don't need to print out the map anymore, so I'll get rid of that. Um, and you if you want to do it with the same thing here for Tesla, you would just pass in the, the key of two three four, and I'll do that. Um, if you don't want to use the brackets, you could use at. This is pretty really old, but they allow you to. I think this is like, I don't know. If you want to, so if you want to do dot at two three four, it should print it out. Yeah, see Tesla two three four. So if you want to, you don't want to use brackets. Go ahead, use the use at. Um, you can also change the values if you use use the spec specify the key and then use an equal sign. So if I want to change, I don't know, one two three the this the key of one two three it's valued to, instead of Toyota I want to change it to I don't know General Motors I could do that and this would change it to General Motors when I print it out so let's print that this value out and it should give me General Motors yeah General Motors so yeah you could do that. You could easily do that. Um, you use the equal sign, it'll change the specific value. All right, now let's use modifiers. Um, insert is just it's basically the same thing as inserting. Um, if you want to insert a specific like position, you could also do that. Uh, I could show you guys how to do that. Like if I want to insert at like like the first position here. I need to create an iterator actually first. 
Okay, okay. string iterator <laughs> in string. Okay, uh, you gotta do it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, oh wait, my fault. I think it's like this. Yeah. Um, you could do this. Uh, I believe you can. Int iterator it might begin. Oh wait, hey, you can't do a plus one. That's weird. But um, what you can do is if I want to insert at a at the iterator, I would just do my map card insert and then insert whatever new pair that I want. So let's say I would just do uh, part up begin. So at this certain position, and I could insert whatever new pair I want. So I, if I want to do like I don't know, five, six, seven, it's gonna have like General Motors. It'll insert that into that position, position, right? In in app begin, it'll do that. Um, yeah. So that's insert. Um. Oh yeah, you could also insert things just like, if you don't want to pass a position, you could also insert things like this. It'll just insert it. And uh, we could just, I can show you what it looks like. I have to put a breakpoint here. So here it would insert five, six, seven, and that'll be your general motors. So here, yeah, we just inserted five, six, seven, and it has general motors. So that's what it has. But yeah, uh, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Insert position. You could also insert. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So that's all of insert. Um, you could erase. If you want to erase, um, you need to find the specific key and then erase it. Um, you could also just erase the key. So like if I want to get rid of General Motors, I would do my map dot erase and then this certain key. So I would have to pass in the key, which is five, six, seven. And then it would erase it. So if we were to print out all the values in our car, all the key value pairs in our map, we would not have General Motors. Yeah, general mode is not there. So yeah, if you want to erase, you just pass in the specific key that you want to erase. Um, yeah, you could also erase by range. So if I want to erase from beginning to end, I could do that also. So if I want to erase, uh, actually, let's keep this. Erase it dot begin. Uh, my car dot begin. My car dot end map car it would completely erase it so this would just be empty because i erased all the values from beginning to end that's what my map car dot erase would do so yeah and by the way i just named this map car it could you can name your map as whatever you want it to be it doesn't have to be like that uh you can swap yeah you just like I don't know why anyone would want to do this. But yeah, if you created two maps and you want to swap it, just do first map dot swap second one. So if I want to do like, I don't know, second map, I don't know, uh, 567 has John, I don't know. I think it really doesn't matter. 8910 has Cat. And I want to swap the first with the second. Map card out swap. Second map. Let me just print out map card again. Okay. Um, it's gonna have five, six, seven, John, eight, nine, ten, cat. See, and the reason why is because it swapped the first map with the second map. So now all the values are swapped. 
see. All the values in the second map is now in the first map. Okay. Um, whoops. Let's look at another one. I believe... Do we go... Okay, swap. Clear. Clear just, just gets rid of everything. Like, you, you, it really doesn't matter. You want to clear it, just do dot clear. It just gets rid of everything. Like, if I want to do map car dot clear, it just removes all the values in your map. So then if I run it, there's nothing there. It's just, it, look, there's just nothing there, yeah. So now it's empty. Okay, and place is the same thing as insert. Um, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. If insert this increases size by one. Okay, so so in place constructs and inserts an element. Inserts a new element in the map if the key is unique. This new key new element is constructed in place using arcs. Okay. So yeah. This is it's just the same thing. Um as e as insert. There's like no no difference. Uh constructed unit. Yeah, it's, uh, there's no difference. You just do in place if you want to. Um, yeah, map car dot insert uh, place uh, five six seven John. I'll insert it. Okay, what's wrong? Oh, I have to. It's not braces. It's just. Okay, so then, yeah, in places would basically insert. And then now you would have 567 John inside of your map. Yeah, 567 John is inside your map. Okay, so yeah, there's that. Um, in place, in place, hint. I don't know why anyone would want to use this. I don't know what this is doing. The value in position is used as a hint in the insertion point. Oh, okay. So if I pass in, huh? Wait. Pass in ten will be used as a hint. I have no idea. I don't. I, I don't want to. No. No. No one cares about this. All right. Um, I think that's it. Key value comparator. Yeah, you could pass in a comparator if you want. Um, they'll change the way it's sorted. Uh, you want to pass in a comparator value here. You could change how that's sorted also. So yeah. Um, find. Okay, so you could actually find a an element with a key equivalent to it. So um, yeah. Like if I want to find what what is the element that has one two three right like in my map car like if i don't know what that this map has one two three and it points to toyota i could do app car dot find one two three and it would get me the iterator of where it's pointing to which would be toyota so i could do like auto it and it'll give me the position where it's pointing to you know you normally use this to like erase values but uh, once I have this position, I actually actually I could actually print it out. So I had to print out the corresponding value that I found, which is Toyota. So it's going to print out. I, it searches for the key of one two three, and it prints out Toyota. Yeah. See. Okay. So we have that. Um. Okay. Fine. Okay. We count. Okay. So this counts how many elements with a certain key. So this is useful if you want to see. Um, if it contains an element. So like if I want to find if this map of map car does it have uh, uh, count does it have the key of five six seven right so if if it does if it's greater than zero it'll tell me it does so it says okay it contains this key of five six seven. So yes, it does. And then, no, it does not. 
for now. No, it does not. This is very useful to see if uh, your map contains a value. So if we do dot count five six seven, it does not. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't have the key five six seven. So now, if we did have a key five six seven, or let's actually use a uh, one two three. Now, now we do have a key of one two three as Toyota. Now we're gonna do a dot count to see if it does contain it, and in this case, it does. So it should do. Yes, it does. So it does contain it. Okay, so that's a good part of count. Helps you if it contains a value. A lower bound is like binary search. You could uh, use the binary search to find the lowest bound of where it is at, and you would print it. So if I want to do a lower bound on B, I just search through using binary search on it. So if I wanted to do like, if I want to find something, I use a lower bound. Use lower bound on whatever value particular value, the binary search it, and that's lower bound. Upper bound is the same thing, but it's the the top most binary searched value. It's the one on the right. So yeah, um, equal range, I don't know what this is. Returns the bound of range, oh, okay, so this is just saying like, it gives you a range of all the elements that have the key that is equivalent to it. So if I want to find like, a, B, C or something. It'll give me all the elements that are like equivalent to A, B, C or something. But yeah. Um, yeah, they'll give you a range of the positions where it's at. Uh, that's it. That's pretty much all the values of uh, all the specific functions of maps. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.